What's going on, Star Pulse? I'm Vanessa Mujica, and I'm happy to say that it's that time of year again. We're here on the red carpet for KISS FM's 2009 Jingle Ball, with performances featuring Taylor Swift, Carrie Hilson, LMFAO, and many more. Now pour yourselves a glass of hot chocolate, and let's see who came out tonight. single down it has been number one on the billboard hot 100 how are you feeling oh god that was crazy for me i mean that doesn't happen to many people yeah. so the fact that it happened to me you know um i feel very blessed i feel i feel like um i feel inspired to do it again your new album all or nothing if you could just describe it in four words what would they be go get it now exclamation point <laughs> how is it working with little wayne oh he's awesome he's He's so talented, he's just like a bundle of energy, he's, he's just crazy. I mean, like, to be around him is, is so inspiring. Because it is the holiday season, I have to ask, are you on the naughty or nice list? Always nice. <laughs> Always be nice. There's never a reason to be nasty. Congratulations on your hit single, What'd You Say? Number one for four weeks now. How do you feel? Oh, it's an amazing feeling. You know, four weeks in a row, it's, you know, uh, behind I Got A Feeling, which was five weeks in a row, is the only song, um, that, uh, you know, uh, top top four weeks in a row this year, you know, I mean, it's just incredible. Um, you know, hopefully I can withstand another week. It's, it's really, really exciting, you know, it's, it's amazing that people are being so receptive. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I just hope, you know, people continue to uh, receive me as, you know, as well. Now, you're performing tonight with a great lineup. How do you feel about performing at KISS FM's Jingle Ball? Oh, it's amazing. Uh, Wango Tango, six months ago, I was performing on the Village stage, um, which is, you know, upcoming artist. And now I'm here, you know, one of the, uh, the, the main performers tonight. So, I mean, it's, it's just an incredible feeling. You know, when you've been working on something your whole life and it finally comes to fruition before your eyes, I mean, it's, it's the most incredible feeling you, you've ever felt before. Definitely. Now, not a lot of people know this, but the chorus from your song is actually from Imagine Heaps, Hide and Seek. What made you pick that song to make it into your own hit single? Imogen Heap, um, she is incredible. Um, you know, I'm, I'm the kind of person who go into a record store and pick up any random CD just for the education. But I went to, went to the record store one day and I uh, seen this eclectic looking lady on this um, CD and I picked up the CD and I fell in love with the song called Hide and Seek. Brought it to J.R. Rodham's attention who's producing my entire album. We, we, we both fell in love with this song and, and we, you know, we wrote a, wrote a song, you know, incorporating, incorporating a, 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 a snippet from her, um, her Hide and Seek and, you know, it just happened to be magical. How was it writing your first script for Wizards of Waverly? Absolutely fabulous. Uh, such a blessing to, to, to be given that opportunity and to actually do it and have it get done and we're shooting it tomorrow, I mean on Monday, okay. is um, absolutely insane. What was it like doing a crossover from acting to writing, being on the other side? Um, it definitely gives you another perspective. I mean, you really see that if you don't nail something in run through, it's going to get rewritten, so it just reinforces that you have to be prepared as an actor. Um, it, it gives you a whole other angle, which just helps me better understand acting. You are actually the number one viewed celebrity pictures on Twitter right now. Oh, no way. You are, so I no, your I fans no idea. love you. Good, I'll take it. Thank you, fans. <laughs> so I want to ask you guys, if you could describe each other with one word, what would it be? Uh, I would describe him as ballsy. <laughs> I'd have to say... Casanova. How was it recording this, is it? Uh, well, I mean, this is it was a wonderful labor of love. I mean, a lot of times we weren't even aware cameras were rolling, you know, but it was just a natural thing that Michael always did was to capture the moment. And fortunately, you know, this is it was no exception because then we were able to share his ideas with the world. What would you guys say was the most important thing you learned from Michael? Life lessons uh, about relationships between people, you know, about caring and positivity and, and sharing love with each other. You know, I took so much away from that and, and like everyone else did. What do you think about Heidi wanting to have a little boy or girl right now? Um, I support her in any choice that she makes. Have you been naughty or nice this year? Naughty, but I'm going to be nice soon. I mean, now. Pick up the, the full first season on December 29th on DVD. Then you can watch all the episodes. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot of stuff that we released already before the back nine that you can, you know. Or you can start a glee club. Yeah, do that. Do it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought <laughs> that we would have, we'd, be, we'd be iTunes bestseller people? I, I mean, it helps that we're doing like huge songs, everybody knows. Yeah. But it's just, I can't wait to see what other songs we get to do. 
we don't, we don't have any time off. <laughs> no, we start we start shooting. Yeah, we yeah we yeah. go back next week. So. Make you guys more episodes so yeah. you can watch them. Well, everyone, that's a wrap for Red Carpet. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Until next time, I'm Vanessa Mujica. Hey, what's up? It's yours truly, Jason Derulo. We are LMFAO. Hey, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, uh, that's a star pulse, you bitch. Yeah, you watch it. Starpulse.com.